A moment of bipartisan unity. I witnessed it today while participating in a discussion with Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky at the Yale School of Management. Democrat Richard Blumenthal and Republican Lindsey Graham, appearing virtually, agreed the U.S. needed to send more money and weapons to Ukraine by the year's end. Senator Graham pledged to help GOP skeptics understand where the aid is going. Senator Blumenthal suggested redirecting Patriot missile systems from Saudi Arabia to Ukraine. President Zelensky said if the U.S. sent Patriot missile systems, he'd fire them from the front line himself. We have to defend, uh, defend our skies. If my memory serves me right, I've been telling that in the first days of the war, aviation and aerial defense, this is what we lack. We need to defend our skies, to defend our children. Russian can do nothing against us on land. On land, the wet season is slowing troop advances, but Russian missiles are still raining down now on its power grid. Zelensky said the lights are out in 40 percent of Kyiv. As the war drags on and calls for negotiations grow, Zelensky has said no re resolution can be reached directly with Vladimir Putin. So I asked him why. Are you suggesting that there should be a different channel of negotiations or are you suggesting that the West should push for regime change? It is increasingly challenging for me to tell who or what is President Putin. Uh, now it looks like this is like a bunch of individuals under the brand of Putin. That's true, actually. Who pursue aggressive steps. So we are not ready to talk to Putin. We are not to talk in general with a regime like this, with an approach like this, with this disrespect to sovereignty, to the freedom of our citizens. And he was firm in that position. But with continued aid from allies, Zelensky suggested the war would be over soon.